Gregory Rex and Associate Studios here in New Orleans. Hi, I'm John Osterland on Rush Radio 99.5 WRNO. A couple things we're going to do in the last hour of the show. I want to get to this video momentarily that we've put on the show's website as well as the show's Facebook page. Got a New Mexico cop opening fire into a minivan filled with kids. Because the uh, mother, she wasn't too happy with the cops. We're going to get into that momentarily. Like I said, I had a great time on Saturday. We went down to Homa, Terrebonne Parish, for the initial Bayou Beer Festival. That was a good time. And uh, everyone I met down there, they were all so cool. Well, most of the people were. And uh, Parker and I, along with our friend Chris Coleman, who happens to be black, the legendary Smiles, uh, we went down there. The racist honkies. Coleman's in the studio right now. Hi, guys. Hey, were you, um, the fact that it was on an old southern plantation, Chris Coleman, did that make you uncomfortable? Or were you oh, no. Of- Actually, it brought me back to my roots. I felt right at home for some reason. I can't tell what this the lineage. Something about the breeze and the trees and the rope marks around the trees. It just felt homely. It, it's weird. They had a really good crowd. And um, for a, a minute or two, Parker and I lost track of you. And I didn't see too many other black guys there. I looked at Parker. I said, Parker, we better go find Coleman real quick. I, I, don't, I don't know where he is. But uh, no, I was, uh, I, was um, I don't know. I just was. I had I bent over, started picking through the crops, and I told you to stop. You didn't yeah, to, you didn't yeah to it was instinct. I couldn't stop myself. I couldn't help it. <laughs> That's brutal. 